I'm Mike Haynes from uh, Molehaven. Uh, we're down at our new country store in Well Parks in Crediton, and we're just about to take uh, the Mid Devon team and the Molehaven team for a brief tour. Uh, this area we're studying now is the trade counter actually for our core farming customers. So this particular area is the trade counter. This will have some key clamping around that's segregated from the warehouse, which you'll see has been fully fitted out already, uh, and the area where the deliveries will come in, which is that area there. Just a little while ago we stood out on, I won't take you back out there because it's obviously a little bit damp, but that's the main yard agricultural area for the store, so all the products we sell will be sold from that area. The area over here just under this door will be this, the area where the deliveries come into the store, so all the lorries and all the transition of product will take place there, come into this area here, away from customers, but nevertheless in proximity of customers, so that's very different to the structures we currently run in our existing store, where at Mill Street you've got customers, deliveries, and all sorts of things going on in the same car park. So it's very much segregated. Uh, and the logistics are that there's a road, this, this road out here is a road that means that the core farming customers can drive around the car park, drive their tractors and trailers up here. There'll be a big roundabout built there. They can do a full circle, pick up their product, purchase it here and go if they choose to. Equally, these doors give direct access to the main shop floor. They can come this way from the farm and small older area, or they can enter, move from here into the main store. They can go anywhere in the store they want, um, but we've tried to make the ease of collection of large products, steaks and stuff like that, uh, set up out there. So there's also an area for key customers, as well as general customers, to pick up peat and large items of coal and stuff like that as well. So that's this area here. This particular racking system is a, a special system. You'll see our two guys working over there in the corner on their forklift training because we're bringing special kit in so we can optimize the linear footage in this storage area. On the original plan, the warehouse was twice this size. By using this type of racking solution, we've better managed to reduce the warehouse size to increase the sales space. And obviously sales space for us is more valuable than storage space. We need storage space and we will sell product from here but actually we're going to try and put a lot more of our core product, our equine product, out on the shop floor. So that's the warehouse area. We can see from these windows the size of our yard. Um, it's been rumoured that we're the third runway for Exeter Airport, <laughs> given the size of it. So we might be uh, leasing some of it out, but it's a huge area, which means that we can expand the range to our core farming customers and ensure that we've got stock on hand for their requirements. So it's a big, big investment. I forget it's 3,000 kilotons or something of concrete going in there, so a significant amount. And you can see the size of the sort of transient area out to the left here, which is where the lorries will turn. And here the mezzanine floor, currently only half completed. It's not a joke, it's generally only been half completed. It's in phase two of its planning and will be completed in the next couple of weeks. The furthest point you can see where the window is is where the cafe will be. That's the first time we've had a cafe in the business and that will be working in partnership with a local coffee company so again working very closely with the community in Crediton so we'll be working together in partnership on that we will have a very small farm shop where we will sell, sell Devon only produced product and the majority of the product we get in that will be from our core farming customers it may come through distribution through a wholesaler but it will come from the Devon area and the surrounding and where possible as close as we possibly can to this store and the area here will be a gift a country gift area as well which is, again is an extension to our current branded offer. We've invested in a customer lift that's the big thing in the middle there. The first time we've ever had a customer lift so that's a proper lift for transporting people, customers but also stock as well and there'll be a, a fancy staircase that's due to be arriving in the next couple of weeks. The linear you see downstairs the shop floor you will see two pillars. There are only two pillars in the entire span of this store which again is, 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 if you're a retailer or a shopkeeper like me, is just magic because that means you're not wasting any space trying to merchandise around pillars. So you can see now the guys from Weatherburns, our shop fitting company, starting to put in the fixtures and fittings. You'll see the furthest point where that chap's on his phone over there, that's the garden centre. Uh, and we have also added that. Now that's not a full-fledged garden centre, that's just an offering. We do have a garden centre business in our Axminster store, works very well, so it'll only be small plants and a little bit of um, bedding plants, but nevertheless we'll offer and extend that range to our customers. The area you can see that's being laid out is clothing and footwear to the far left and that, then that follows in flow in terms of equine going underneath the mezzanine floor it's merchandise. This area that you can't see below us is where our core agricultural farm and small holding product will be. Uh, the entrance to the store will have a sight line from that window over the customer service points which is below us here now where all our agricultural team will be based. Our animal med counter will be in place as well. So our real core customer service points will be immediately as you walk in the store. So we will have what we would call retail products available and extra things on offer for core customers, but we will also have 
the, the key service points right in the very forefront of the store as you walk in for our core farming customers. Just a little point, the Tesco store, which is adjacent to us across the way, they have around about between 30 and 35,000 customers a week visit their store, seven days a week. Um, we probably have a few hundred a week visit our store currently in Mill Street, so we anticipate a lot of new business coming from general merchandise, as well as looking after, as priority number one, our core farming customers. So this facility, 30,000 square feet, on two floors enables us to do that and with the outdoor space you can see there's room for us to grow our ranges and, and capacity as well in the future so very very exciting for the business so, so this area here to the right of us is the key customer service points this is where our core agri team will be based and we will serve our animal meds uh, from the counter all the offices will be glazed at the front so the customers can see us and see our team inside as well so that's a big change for our business and this is where our core farming customers will come for all their product and all the services, additional services they require. Obviously if they want to buy large product they'll go to the yard as we touch the road, which they can access via the car park and the main road.